I forgot. <laughs> Can you imagine he forgot my name? Is it like Bobo? Oh, he, no, he just calls me Bobo. My name is Basola. Basola, so you're from yeah. Congo. Are you okay? You know we haven't started like you're trying to... Uh, you're trying I'm not even on to you, I'm just... I'm Nigerian. Oh, so down? Yeah. Okay, no wonder, so you went to... Okay, it adds name? up. What's your real name? Tyron. Your real name's not Tyron. I swear, listen, it's Tyron. It's really not Tyron. No, it is. Everyone, Anyways, that's why people think I'm to me. Sorry about that. Welcome to Be a GTV. I'm Basola, and this is Tizzy. Tyron. No, listen, Ty there's no governments out here. My name well, is Tizzy. Well, you just, you just, everyone knows your government. <laughs> well, cool. yeah, yeah. Tizzy Music. How are you? I'm Basola. fine, thank you. It's guy good. 17, by the way. Girls know that. Yeah. Are you okay. Age is just a number. <laughs> <laughs> Girls know that. Don't try and as you're watching, just know in your head that he's 17. Okay. All right. So. What do you do? You, I know you do Afrobeats, your UK Afrobeats. Yeah. No, no. So you are UK. No, nah, big man thing I'm not. What are you doing? Rapper. You're just a rapper. You're not a rapper because in your song... Oh, you're well, like, shock you for me. Yeah, is that, that, not even just that. No, many different... So don't try and make me look stupid. <laughs> I would say, because you, you don't rap. You're not what kids, nah. you're not that. No, 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 no. So you can say you're both, do you know what I mean? Well, Afrobeat. Now, nah, the way it is, it's more like, not even... It's just like melodic speaking. Uh, okay, not not okay. singing. Just rap it in. I rap, and then I put in little bits little, of it to show my heritage yeah. in it. Yeah. So and that's what Afrobeat artists do. No, because uh, Afrobeat is a different kind of beat. If you get me. No, but in your no, you know no, but in your song. You on about like that had a that that had like the bridge. I on purpose made that a hint mm -hmm. of Afrobeats. But like say for example, most of my stuff is mainly just proper rapping. Okay, because like, I do know you've worked with. I saw a picture with Geeko, I've seen you are working with um, Paigey Cakey. You, yeah. you even have a song with Paigey Cakey. Yeah, Keke. that was like one so. of my first tunes out. Mm. So that one's out. How did you, so how did you get in touch with her? And because, not gonna lie, I, that, I was even thinking, like, it's not like she won't want you, but it's like, <laughs> you must be close with her, do you get what I mean? Like, now, like, what it is, it's like literally Paigey, like, I've got, like, she's my girl and I've gotten to know her over the years. Okay, so, like, yeah. so, but when I made the tune of her, like, I didn't know her, so yeah. I emailed her the tune. I emailed it to her, like, it was a song already, yeah. and she was feeling the tune in it. Ah, and then she said she would yeah, jump she, on. Yeah, she jumped on oh, it. that's very nice of So her. then after that, like, literally just done a couple shows, like, see, seen her around, shows mm -hmm. and that. Yeah. And then she had a headline show, like, a few weeks back yeah. at O2, and she, she told me to come down, so yeah. I came down, done the show. She's coming to my headline show yeah, as well. Yeah, I know you have a headline show in August. Yeah, like. get tickets in it. Yeah, get tickets, guys. Come on, you better get your ticket as well. I'm you not know? getting a ticket. Get a ticket, man. You're not getting it for free, though. I'm not getting. I don't. I didn't you're want coming. Now, nah, listen, listen. I listen, didn't. Listen, listen. I didn't want a ticket in the first place. Like you're saying I'm not getting it. Right, for that's what. Free. That's not what you're saying before, but it's alright. Oh, I, I, we never talked about the. Right. Like, oh, you, don't worry. You listen. Know, don't stump for the camera. Don't stump for the. They start lying. Why is everyone doing this? You're starting for the camera. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Shut up. Ask me later. Ask me later. Okay. 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 When did you start doing this music thing? Um, literally, I would say two years ago, okay. basically, I started putting stuff on my own channel, mm -hmm. like covers, two, two songs there, but it wasn't proper, proper, like, yeah. it was like, always like, oh, I'm doing music as a hobby kind of thing. Uh -huh. But then a year ago, when I made my song with Paigey, yeah. I started properly doing it. So from then I made my song with Paigey, then one with Mo, uh -huh. then I done my solo, oh my, then figure. And okay. I've done a one take freestyle, like five songs in a year. Yeah. And that's where I am now uh -huh. from those songs, so like literally a year basically, proper doing it. Okay, so where do you see yourself in five years then? Well, hopefully just successful, just propelled from where I am now. Because I can't, five years is a long time, but I set goals at the start of each year. Mm -hmm. So obviously this year I said I want to get over 100k views because before this year I hadn't got it. Yeah. And I said I want to perform at O2 and I want to perform at Wembley. Mm -hmm. So for this year I've done what I wanted to do. Exactly. I got over 100k views a couple of times. I've done O2 with Paigey and I'm doing Wembley in September. Yeah. So Wait, so you see the September, is that Wembley Arena? Like yeah, Wembley Arena. Arena. It's like 10,000 people. And you're headlining? No, I'm not headlining that. Oh, uh, no. Uh, that's just, that's, I'm not headlining. I'm about to say... No, nah, my show's in August. That's my yeah, exactly, headline that's show. That's what I was thinking. That's not 10,000 people. That. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm so doing O2 next year. That's my thinking. Okay. Yeah, that's so what I want to do next year. In August, who's going to... How many is that? Just a small... Kind yeah, it's of a small event. It's like small, literally, because I've never done anything like it before. So I don't mm -hmm. want to say, OK, let me get O2 this year without ever doing it and then not selling it out. Yeah. So I'd rather get a small venue, get all the people who proper support me, mm -hmm. everyone come down and pack it out, yeah. ram it out and it'll look yeah. sick. 
It's actually so true. Yeah. Okay, and tell because I see you, um, you're releasing from Link Up TV, right? Yeah. So uh, is that who you're signed to? Like, nah. you're signed to, but is that who you work for? Is that where your videos come out from? Well, basically, I, I was with ATM Records. Okay. Well, was I am with ATM Records? Kind of. It's really complicated. Why is it, <laughs> how is it complicated? Well, you said was, and then am. Um, why? Is nah, it it's like so. All my songs that are out, mm -hmm. apart from Figure, say ATM Records at the start, okay, right? Yeah. And that's all because when I, I'm with ATM Records and every, all my tracks backdate with them. Yeah. So that track that I've got coming out says ATM Records because I made it yeah, yeah. time ago. Then, yeah, I know. So if I made a song now, it wouldn't say it's ATM Records because ATM Records has kind of like stopped because they're looking for management and stuff. Okay. So I'm kind of I'm doing my own thing right now. Uh -huh. But the tracks that say ATM Records all backdate, even Figure, was meant to say it, but that's just a lacquer. You were a DJ. Why yeah. did you stop DJing? Well, are you trying to say that DJs? <laughs> you know, it's, nah. There's nothing in that. It's nah, nah. DJing is sick, man. It's sick, but I just think that literally, I tried my hand in music, kind of uh -huh. thing. Like when I started rapping, I didn't stop DJing. Uh huh. I did both. I had all my DJ stuff. I DJed at two two parties and that. Yeah. It's good. Like being a DJ is sick. It's like performing for like hours. It's yeah. sick. Like you get a good vibe from it crowd feeling you when when everyone's dancing that's sick uh -huh. but i just think there's more in music yeah like it's more intimate when you're performing in that like it's just you uh -huh. and being a dj like cool you can play music play music like you can only go so far yeah like dj kylie dj mustard yeah they're big they're yeah, big dj mustard but them like they can only go so far like if you put in the work and they're not just djs they're like producers yeah. too so mm -hmm. Okay, we heard that you were on ITV. Yeah. How was that? How did you get into that and how did you do that? <laughs> literally, that was through like the ATM records. I was on about mm -hmm. my label, so they sorted that out. They literally just told me, oh, you're going to ITV. Mm -hmm. And I was like, cool. I didn't take it in, take yeah. it in. But then they gave me a day. I was like, all right. So I went down to the studios mm -hmm. and literally I had like a little interview thing there. That's well. Yeah, I done that. And then they told me they lost the footage. What? For real, I was like, oh, flip. I have to go back. You know how much of a trek it was I, to go what, there? You had to go back? Trek. Hey, no, I ITV, <laughs> look at like we never lose footage. Nah, like, I didn't have to this? go back. They nice me. They came to me. Oh, okay, So good. at the time, my boy Mabazi, he had like a shop. So it was one yeah. of my sponsors at the time. So uh -huh. I'd done it in his shop. Okay. So we've done, done it again. you done a video in a shop? No, he closed the shop. Oh, okay. He closed the shop and I was like, wearing his brand. Oh, and it was good. all in the background. Yeah. And literally two weeks later, they didn't even tell me. Someone just snapchatted me like, oh, you're on TV. And I was like, what? Like, oh. they snapchatted me. I couldn't, I missed it. Oh. But I had to catch it on record. So I still, I've still, still got it in my planner now. I actually remember that I was on TV once, and it was with ITV, it was ITV2, and I missed that. And then I had to, I had to get told about that as well. But someone, you know how there's ITV player? Yeah, that's what I got yeah, it on. Yeah, I watched it on that. But then I got it like from the actual like, oh, I, I, I from downloaded them. it. Yeah. So oh, plus okay. it was on, cause it was on CITV. Uh -huh. Then it was on ITV. Then it was on ITV plus one. Sure. So I was like, raw. That's bare. a great it's achievement. Decent. Anyway. And they played my tune as well. That's a proper achievement. Um, not gonna lie. So. Why does your bio say you're 17? Like, you're proper, have, you don't want people to know your government name, but... Age, you're, you're, I'm proud like, of my age, like, I so think... So, how, how are these little... So, wait, if you're 17, you're in first year of college. Yeah. And then you're going... Are you going to uni? Do you want to go uni? Yeah, I definitely want to go uni. What college do you go to? You're not trying to say that. No, that's long, but I go to a good college. Is it? A very good college. What do you do, A-levels? Yeah, I do A-levels. Oh, okay, okay, okay. In terms of girls, yeah. how, what's your love like? like? I'm single, so that's good for you to know. I'm single. So after this, shout me. It's calm. Not gonna lie, this guy... <laughs> let me, I'll be real with them. I, this guy's 17, <laughs> he's, he's been trying to... Listen, she's starting, this is not what she was saying before. Age is just a number, anyways, it's cool. Forget. I wasn't saying anything, I was actually... Nah, don't worry, saying... don't worry, don't worry. Well, okay, you want to move to me while everyone's watching. Please, these people don't even like me, are you sure you want to move to me? <laughs> are you sure? Because yeah, I don't care what anyone thinks, innit? Hey, he's probably dropping lines, you know? <laughs> hey, I'm not going to lie, I feel slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> but that's okay. All right. Tell, I know but when, when cameras weren't rolling, you were telling me about your social media experience. And I even want to talk to you about this yeah. because we did listen to the song and you, there was a lyric where you were like running through the six. Yeah. And it's like, but you live in London. Yeah. Like, I don't know what part of London. And it's yeah. like, 
Okay, well, how did you even come up with writing that? Let me tell you. So basically, it was one of my first songs, yeah? Mm. I'd never been on Link Up TV before. Okay. I'm thinking, naively, I'm just like, oh, I can say whatever I want. Yeah. And I literally just said it for writing purposes. Yeah. I didn't say it because I just said, raw, next line. Da, 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 yeah, da, da, yeah, I said yeah. that, yeah. Looking back on it now, very stupid. Would you say the Doesn't line, make sense. Would you say the two lines? Running like, through the six. No, like, what comes before that? You said how you rhymed it. Know, so Say it. Shit. It was like famous in. It was like something like famous in these bits or anything. Just something like that. I can't remember properly. How can you not remember? Your I can't even remember. It's like because it's like one of my first first uh -huh. songs. Yeah. But you know what? I should have got like a hint that it was a shit yeah. bar. I don't know if I can swear. My bad. But yeah, it's fine. I should have got the hint that it was uh -huh. a bad bar from time when. So when Paige done her bit, I said, "Oh, sing the chorus, then do your verse." So yeah. like a boy then a girl. When she done it, she didn't say that. She said, "Running through these bits," and oh I was thinking, "Why did she change yeah, why it?" Did she change I was thinking, it? "Why did she change it?" Oh. And then like now I'm like, "Oh, it's not. It didn't make sense." But it's just one of How them did things you like you learn. That? Because you were telling me like when we were talking. About about all these haters and yeah. people getting like apparently people were getting yeah obviously but by right like come on like yeah. if I just said that I'm from London it doesn't make sense yeah. so obviously it's just one of them things where it's actually good because if no one told me that that is the most stupid uh -huh. thing I've ever heard then I'd have probably done it again next yeah. time I'll be like we're chilling in Canada we're just yeah. out here like I'd have been chatting rubbish so it's one of them things like at the time it kind of it got it bothered me a bit mm -hmm. but then as time went by I was like I don't care. Like when I changed up and stuff, like mm -hmm. obviously I'm not gonna. It's not gonna bother me too tough because it's something that I could admit was stupid. Mm -hmm. If it was something like yeah. that, yeah, you know what I mean. I know what you mean. So I agreed with them basically. So since you're 17, have you ever been in love? Well, I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I've been in love because you can't say you've been in love. I'm 17, isn't it? Yeah, no, so. but I feel like you can be in love at any age. Well, it's true, it's true. Like, I had an ex I went out with, like, I've only had one girlfriend kind of thing uh -huh. before. When did you break up with her? Like, a year ago. How did that, how did that end? It's going to sound bad, yeah. I'm not bad. Okay. I'm good. It's going to sound bad. Basically, what happened was, we was just arguing, innit? Yeah. And I've got, like, I'm impatient. So you cheated on her? No, I didn't cheat. Oh, how did, where where, where did know, you get that I from? I've heard many cheating. <laughs> where did you get that from what I said? I know, boys cheat. No, you know? basically, she was just like to me, oh, um, a boy moved to me, you know, today. She called me, she's like, a boy moved to me today. Um, he Girls. said, I'm, he, exactly. She like, he said, I'm, he said, I'm beautiful. At least he's showing me attention. Unlike some people, I said, okay, cool, we're over. That's how it happened. <sighs> You know, sometimes it has to be like that. This, you know girls do that on purpose just to get you jealous. Exactly, I, but before. I don't play games. That's something you should bear in mind. Yeah? I, sh I should who? You should bear that in mind. I don't play games. Okay. Just continue on it, continue. Okay, okay. <laughs> so what, you, the way you're, you've just been talking to me, have you been with older women? Like, have you, have, would you go with someone older? Age is a number, like I said, isn't it? It has to work both ways. Like, obviously, I'm not going to say that and not go with someone older. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Older than you. What did you just say? Older than you. Oh. Well, what's your love life saying? Are you single yet? I'm single, yeah. Okay. My love life is on and off, man. On and off. I am single, right? What was the ex saying? He's not saying anything. Where is he? He's. I don't know where he is. Where is he supposed to be? Wait, did you break up with him? Yeah. Why? Because what, you bad? <laughs> I'm not going to talk about that because he's so emotional. He'll probably DM me. <laughs> <laughs> say some rubbish that I was saying in the interview, so I'm dead, I'm dead. that's a no. All right, cool. Okay, let's let me just try get at you a bit. Let me not lie because this guy. So this this isn't even what he came in like. He didn't come into. He didn't come wearing this. You were wearing a jumper. Yeah. You took it off because nah, I've worn this before. Not gonna lie, they've seen me in this, and you changed to wear a jacket. Why is that? Is that what you care about? What Obviously, you can't be seen in the same thing twice. Yeah. I wear this in every interview. Well, that's you. This is me. You get me? Wow. Uh, different people. Wow. <laughs> yeah. wow. No, I'm often. I just keep it different, innit? Okay. So, I like, if they've seen me in something before, they could think that I've seen this before because yeah. I'm wearing the same thing. You get okay, me? Yeah. Okay, so let's do this crepe freestyle that's cool. all over your, you know, Instagram. Well, obviously, I'm wearing Chelsea boots, so. Not gonna lie. Boy, I don't know what they are. Anyway, let's go. Come on. You, I just said what don't they worry, are. Don't worry, don't worry. Don't continue, continue. Like, not gonna lie, because what, you're wearing Prada's, and you want to, like, £20 Chelsea boots. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna say a line. I'll say it, yeah. About, like, everyone's crap. Everyone's crap. Uh, you can't see them ones back there, but. But, you know, just get the visuals and get yeah. it, didn't it? So, for this one, Prada's, I'll just be like, 
this is how I make it, innit? So I'll look at the shoe, I'll be like, whoa, what can I say about that shoe that's without mentioning the shoe's name? Or if I mention it, do you know what I mean, in a clever way. So with Pradas, I'll be like, oh, Devil West Pradas. Devil West Prada, you never know, something like that. Chelsea boots, I'll be like, hit him with a boot, no Chelsea. Vans, mm. I'll be like, stay cool when I skate through. Superstars, seem to be a superstar, now I'm gonna blow. I'm not going to comment on those crests because I what are those? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> split. <laughs> but yeah. I'm dead. Okay, so do you do that with other stuff as well or is it just crests? What, like um, when I'm writing music? Yeah. You know what it is? Like, when I force myself to like, let me sit down and me write a song, mm -hmm. I never write a banger. Like, okay. more time, when I make songs, any song that's ever been good of mine, like, something will just happen, I'm like, raw. Yeah. And then I just write a song about it. Like, from when I made Figure, I think I must have been walking, seen the buffest girl. It might have been you, yeah. I don't know what, where are you from? Oh, God. Where, where what you from? do you mean, where am I from? Where are you from, like, area? I'm from South. South, I might have been there. I was walking, I seen a girl, could have been you, might not. Anyway, so I, like, seen her, but she walked off too fast for me to meet her, innit? And she had a figure. So, obviously, figure. and I just want to hold you there. Yeah, it's got that figure, figure. So, I, like, boom, made that. Another one, I was at a party, you know, that's when I made Oh My. Uh -huh. This girl just like, what made me say Oh My? Well, it's all for the team, that's just general, obviously, trying yeah. to do this for my guys. The page, see, that's another reason why the Paige Cakey song is not the waviest yeah. that I made with her, because I made it, I don't think I was actually like, harshly inspired. Uh -huh. You know what it was? Before I made it with her, like, it was an original. Okay. And yeah. that one was more like... See, when I'm thinking about it, I should know the concept, yeah. but I can't think of it. So that's just like how you grow yeah, as an artist. Yeah, you've grown anyway, so yeah. that's good. In terms of Link Up TV, so how did you get with them? Literally, what it was is like, obviously, Link Up TV is like our oh, big prestige, like, but this was like a year ago. Yeah. So I was like... So what, they're not prestige now? Because <laughs> you said this, this was nah, like That's true, they're getting, they're even bigger now. Yeah. Like, but what is this like? I was like, okay, I want to do this music thing. Uh-huh. I want to be heard, I want to be seen. Yeah. How am I going to get seen quicker, fastest? Like, yeah. how am I going to get out there? So I was like, Link Up TV. But then contacted them, wasn't that easy. Like, I was yeah. going like, all this email that, all of this, yeah, which this all along. Uh-huh. I don't know where I seen it, but I seen a number. Yeah. Which was my boy Enya from, from Link Up. Uh -huh. So I called it, didn't pick up. I had to leave a text. All of this long, long, long. All of that long. Got, he picked up, we started talking. Yeah. Obviously, this is when I, so first time I was Link Up was with my label. Uh -huh. So we went on Link Up, cool. We got them, they got the contact. We got the first guys to come down, Daniel, my bro, one of the livest visuals. Uh -huh. He came down, he shot my page cakey vid, visuals cold. So from there, he shot everything up until Oh My. Okay. And that's literally after Oh My figure and my new stuff coming out is going to be with like different sh videographers. Cause so I'm, why was it, why are those not with Link Up? No, but, well, I'm shooting with someone else, then still putting on link up kind of thing. Okay, I get what you mean. Okay. Yeah, so like because because I'm just doing it independent, I'll just get like someone to shoot it for me, mm -hmm. and then I'll get um post it on link up. Okay, so in terms of like you need to let them know what you're doing. Like in terms of like 2016, summer 16. Yeah. I know you have in August you have headline the show. Headline show. You said September. Yeah. You have something else in Wembley that you're performing at. So what else? What music videos? What do you have coming up? Literally, I've got a video dropping soon. When soon? I don't know. Like literally. How do you not know? Whenever I want it to drop. Like uh -huh. whenever I'm feeling, let me drop this tune. Uh -huh. like, but soon, I've shot the video. Yeah. Literally. I'm gonna, it's gonna be, I'm gonna have the video by today. I've got the video already, but I'm okay. just telling them a couple two two changes yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th there's a little tease on my Instagram okay. that people can go check. Not gonna lie, but when when like we were sitting down like this when the cameras weren't rolling, you're sending a voice note yeah. to your friend saying, "Oh, send me, send me the beat, send me the, is that for a new?" Yeah, that's for another one. So like my guy wants me to jump on something, so I was like, okay, "Yeah, oh yeah," and I got a song with Cadet. Okay, as well that's that I've cool. got I've shot the video for that yeah um tune I'm probably gonna drop that on SoundCloud first okay but that's after this tune yeah. so I've got stuff there I've got stuff okay, there well guys definitely watch out for what he's got coming up come on thank you so much for watching that's enough from me and Tizzy yes you see I've got that right you know I, <laughs> honestly guys I'm actually not feeling well you can probably hear by my voice like and I know some of you don't even care but you probably say we don't care though. But honestly, like, I'm actually being very forgetful. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys. BNG, rewriting the rules of entertainment.